Perhaps no coach in the country brings the energy quite like Indiana's Tom Allen. And the head Hoosier kind enough to join us now on the big show. Tom, if I were to ask your players, does your enthusiasm ramp up on Saturday? Or are you the same guy, whether it's in meetings, in practice, in the weight room? I would say uh, their response would be, I'm the same guy in all those settings. That's just who I am. How does that affect the way that you coach? And could you envision yourself being successful as a coach without that kind of energy that you bring each and every day? Well, you know, I, I just think it's important that you just be who you are. And uh, I don't have to, to fake it or, you know, make myself be that way. So I just think it's important that uh, you be true to yourself. And, and uh, yeah, I, I do think it would, uh, it would alter my effectiveness just because that's who I am and that's who I've always been. And, and uh, I have to run and stay in great shape to coach at the level that I want to coach at with the energy I want to coach with but that's just part of my personality and and part of who I am so yeah I just think that it's just uh, just me just me being me that's a great unintended consequence if it helps you stay in shape as we get older right <laughs> hey, hey Tom your sure. background is on defense but I give you and the staff a ton of credit because you as you have evolved as college football has evolved into an offensive centric sport how have you guys been successful in creating that evolution with this program? Well, you know, I do think that you have to play great defense to have a chance uh, to be able to build a, a program that has an opportunity to compete each week and, and be where you want to be within your conference. And so, but offensively, you got to score points. And, and it's about uh, the ability to adapt to that level. And, and uh, you know, going out and finding Kalen DeBoer was a huge next step for us. And just what he's brought to our staff and to our program and to our players is a, a system that they've uh, uh, bought into and fits well with our current players. And, and just doing a great job being able to um, take what the defense gives us and, and uh, utilize the skill sets of our offensive players, which is uh, we have multiple guys that can, that can uh, affect the outcome of the game. On the defensive side, we all know points per game allowed, yards per game allowed, awfully important. But it seems right now the teams that can score a lot of points, their number one focus defensively needs to be takeaways and turnover margin. Right. How much do you guys focus on that? Well, it's our number one objective in defensive. We talk about takeaways, tackling, and effort. Those are the three things that we install every single day uh, as a program, and, and you're exactly right. I mean, this, in this day and age of offensive football and the points that are being scored and the tempo that they play with and the, the way the rules are, uh, you, you have to create takeaways. And that, that to me, those are possessions that you can – uh, steal and alter the outcome of a game and set up your offensive field position. And, and, and we saw last week against Maryland those, those final two takeaways at the, in the fourth quarter were the difference in the game for us and allowed us to win the game. So we focus on that at a very high level at Indiana. Another aspect of college football that's changed over the past few years, the transfer portal. It's a conversation that no coach wants to have, especially with a quarterback who can impact his team. And for you, after naming Michael Penix, Peyton Ramsey did not utter those words. He wanted to stay with the program and provide what he could. Michael has now missed either entire games or portions of games with injury. How critical has Peyton's commitment to your program been this year? It's been huge, you know, and it's a tribute to him as a, as a young man and, and the way he was raised and the character that he has. I just have so much respect for him and, and appreciate him believing in our program and, and really embracing LEO, which is, which is the foundation of our program and the way that we want our guys to, to think and act and, and, and really embrace. It's not about me. I don't really care who gets the credit because I want what's best for our football team. I know it was tough for him. It was a tough decision I had to make, and, and uh, he took it like a man and uh, has been prepared and ready every single week to, to perform when called upon, and, and it's huge. It is very rare in today's game, and that's why what he's doing is uh, something that's pretty special. Tom, is there one aspect or personality trait of this team that you've seen this season that you're most proud of? Uh, grit. Just our toughness, uh, ability to stay the course and, and uh, continue to work together, work hard, play hard, uh, find ways to win there in the end like we did on the road at Maryland and, and uh, continue to, to, to stay focused even when, when things don't go your way. So that to me is what sticks out about our team. Tom, for a long time we've heard this about Indiana football, that success would be defined by bowl eligibility. Now listen, I know that bowl eligibility is one of your goals, but is it fair to say that you believe that bar of just getting to bowl eligibility is too low for this program? I believe so, and uh, that's how our guys would say the same thing. Not one young man on our team has talked about six wins, and uh, they understand that uh, there's a bigger picture involved. Yeah, I get it, and they understand that uh, the history and where we are and, and that that's uh, kind of the, 
um, a goal that many, many people have, but they, they want more than that. And so we have five wins with uh, the stage of the season after playing seven games. And so it's about process-driven approach here. We want to be able to be at our very best each and every week. We want to make sure we do a great job being focused on the task at hand. That's what we have to do this week as we head to Lincoln. It's not about, um, you know, the, the sixth win. It's about getting the next win. And playing our very, very best football is the whole objective. And that's why if you ask our players, they'll tell you this is the most important game of the season because it's the next game. And it is a game that can get you to six. As you watch Nebraska on film, what's the first thing that jumps out about the Huskers? Well, I just see the athleticism of their skill guys on offense, big physical offensive linemen. And uh, I think their D-line is very physical, and uh, uh, their kids play really hard on defense. So uh, a very good football team that uh, are very, very good at home, and I know that's going to be a tremendous challenge. But I, I just see a talented football team that, uh, that we're playing here on Saturday. And obviously a couple of questions to answer as your quarterback, Michael Penix, Nebraska's quarterback, Adrian Martinez, both game time decisions. Tom, I'm excited to get a chance to see you and the Hoosiers in person this weekend. We'll be on the call for the 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 kick in Lincoln. Appreciate your time today, and we'll see you on the field on Saturday. Oh, thanks so much for having me. We'll see you on Saturday as well. Take care. Elio.